You know, it, titanium has always been one of those those products that, that we, we generally speaking haven't really talked about very much at at uh, NioCorp uh, because we considered it kind of the the, the least um, you know uh, sexy element that we have that we'll be producing from the plant. Um, that has certainly changed uh, in the last uh, year or so. Um, you know, all of the the titanium in the world primarily comes out of Russia or uh, the Ukraine. And with the conflict that's ongoing there, we don't have uh, a lot of that supply that used to be available for us um, available anymore. And, and a lot of that, that ore supply or concentrate supply actually uh, flowed into Japan, who would turn it into a, a more sellable, more, more usable titanium product for the rest of the world. So Japan is, is now desperately searching for new sources of titanium to, to feed their processing facilities. We know that here in the United States, there were a lot of titanium processing facilities that were shut down because the economics just didn't work out. But they're now all looking at starting these facilities back up. And every single one of these parties is contacting NioCorp uh, to talk about what is our form of, of titanium, uh, how pure is it going to be. Uh, we're already talking logistics with some people about you know what it would cost to ship the material to them, and and so it's gotten a lot more exciting. And then we add to that again, you know, hats off to to Scott and his team as part of their their new process flow diagram that they've developed uh, in conjunction with L3. Uh, we're going to be producing almost well, it's actually over double the amount of titanium that we were uh, going to produce as part of the last feasibility study. Um, the price of titanium has more than doubled since uh, the, the publication of our last feasibility study. So now we're looking at, at possible revenue streams in excess of $80 million a year just for the titanium. And, and since Scott and his team were able to recover more of that that titanium during the, the, the processing of the material, that means less of the titanium goes with the niobium product. And it means that our niobium is also cleaner and easier uh, to process in the ferro-niobium and higher purity products than that. So this again is just, you know, it's it's W's stacked up on W's and it's a win-win-win. And, and again, my hat's off to Scott and his team. They have made titanium a very real economic contributor to this project. You know, the demonstration plant team and 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 myself and, and everyone who's worked um, on the titanium part of our project for, for years now um, has been faced with a vexing problem. And, and that problem is, although we have a, a process that works for recovering titanium, uh, we've we've always been struggling with, with a uh, an issue where uh, a certain amount of the titanium uh, ends up with the niobium, and then when we when we make ferro niobium out of that material, that titanium ends up in the slag. And we've always been uh, working in the background on, on trying to uh, get as much of that titanium as possible into a commercial product. In recent uh, weeks at the demonstration plant, and, and in our press releases, I, I think what we've demonstrated is that we have a, a process now in chlorination that. Um, allows us to get a very good separation between niobium and titanium. And the real dramatic thing we're seeing there is, is, an all, is slightly better than doubling uh, of the yield of titanium uh, to uh, a commercial product. And in this case, uh, the product uh, it not only has a very good yield, but we're making it in a form that's slightly different than we've uh, talked about in our previous technical reports and, and public announcements. We're going to be making the titanium in the form of a titanium tetrachloride or tickle as it's sometimes called. And this uh, material is what is used by uh, pigment manufacturers to make titanium pigments. Those are the pigments and paints and plastics and um, uh, paper uh, that make it give it that nice bright white color. It's also uh, the starting material for making titanium metal. And uh, this is exciting for us because it, it gives us a number of outlets for our titanium product. Uh, it, it allows us uh, potentially uh, the capacity to make much more titanium product uh, than we had in, in our, our current technical report. And uh, furthermore, it allows us to go out and, and talk to people in these different industries, in the pigment industry and in the titanium metal industry, and uh, really broaden the scope of our offtake uh, discussions around titanium. So it's a very exciting development. And I think uh, uh, not only is it gonna give us avenues for offtake, 
but it's potentially going to increase uh, and improve the economics for the project overall. Thank you.